the notion of we preachers are supposed to be the leaders of Christianity. We're the models. We're the ones that are supposed, supposed to demonstrate what the gospel is all about. And yet we will not sit down together. We won't get acquainted with each other. We won't have some kind of a bond of unity. Hey, we work together. We have the same gospel. We're working in the same church. No. We have boxed ourselves up, isolated ourselves from each other, and very often even have a sense of competition and rivalry. So no wonder most of the world is not impressed with Christianity. Because it seems that most of us don't practice Christianity. We're to have love. We're to have unity. We're, we're, we're different. And the world looks at us, oh, those Christians are about like everybody else. They're fussing and feuding and fighting. They're, they're, they're just like the rest of the world. They don't have any sense of unity. They're, they're splintered off here and there. Uh, they can't get along. To practice the gospel, to embrace each other, even though we're different, even though we have a different uh, faith in, in many ways, different ways of worshiping, we love each other. The, the, the standing uh, emblem of being a Christian is that we're, we're together. We love each other. We have a sense of unity. We stand together in Jesus Christ. And yet we're all a little different. God makes us a little different. But we have one faith that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the Savior of the world. And that unity is what impresses the world, our kindness. Yeah, we're different, but we accept each other and respect each other in our differences. That's Christianity. That's the church. And until we Christians really fully embrace this oneness. I, I, I'm going to uh, pray with and, and respect uh, people of other denominations, even visit their church now and then, have them visit our church. We have a sense of we're, we're, we're together. How is it that we anticipate being, how is it that we anticipate being together as one people, God's people, children of God, all together for all eternity in heaven but we can't even get together here on earth. That's right. So the, the, the notion of one, the notion of unity, the notion of love, the basic core of Christianity is that we put, the, put aside our differences and say, yeah, we are one people. We, be, we believe in and proclaim Jesus Christ as Son of God. And may we work in that direction. May we find every opportunity to, to join ourselves in prayer and worship and unity with each other and let us respect the differences of other people. God calls us in different ways and we respect that, God's calling. We respect our brothers and sisters who are different than ourselves. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you are the Father of all. Heavenly Father, you have given us one Savior. You have given us one gospel from the lips of your divine Son. You have established by your, your, your divine Son one church. Help us, Lord, yes, Lord. to be united. Help us to respect each other, to love each other, to embrace each other, and to, and to come together at every opportunity that we might make up your one church. By this, they will know that you are my disciples, the love that you have for one another. Amen. Amen. Thank you, John. No. That's what it's all about. We have different nominations that comes here. Because it ain't about nominations. It ain't. Because I used to tell stories back years ago. They'd want me up and give a testimony. I'm just going to make it short. Come on up, Janice. And, uh, we once died, tell them, we got to the big doors, and everybody was lined up at their nomination door, Baptist, Holiness, whatever it may be. Uh -huh. Well, they was all turning around and said, well, I see you. Well, I said, when we all open that door, I don't care what name you got over it, we all going into the same room. That's right. Because there's only one that we're going to be stand accountable for. And that's the one that's going to give us judgment. 
Oh, yeah. Thank you, Brother James and Brother John. I am grateful for the opportunity to share. And I want to take these minutes to lift up Jesus. The passage that I have selected to share comes from the book of 1 John, chapter 4. When I was growing up, the old country preachers would call this Little John. And uh, over in Australia, where my son is pastor, they call it One John. But we call it First John, and here's what John writes. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. He that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. 